I'm still a hungry young fighter, learning my trade, learning my apprenticeship, and you know, uh, I'm ready for whatever's next. So I gotta ask you, man, big news in the middleweight division today. Just announced uh, Gennady Golovkin and Daniel Jacobs are gonna fight uh, on pay-per-view to try to unify titles. What do you think about that fight, man? That's gonna be a good fight. You know, Triple G obviously has the power. You know, he has that uh, ring generalship. He's very, very cagey, very crafty inside the ring, moves well, timings well. He's a great fighter, but so is Danny Jacobs. And I think the kind of guy to beat Triple G is a boxer fighter. And I think uh, Danny Jacobs will give him trouble and uh, will make him think like he hasn't had to think before inside the ring. So uh, it's going to be an interesting fight, but I, I have Triple G won him. Appreciate your time, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, my man. Huh? My man. How does it feel, Jason? Uh, oh yeah, what's the crack, Chris? How are things? Jason, 12 and 0. That was, that was an emphatic display there. Yeah, Chris, you know, it's uh, on paper that was a very tough fight for me. You know, same as my last fight. People doubted me. People says it's quickly taking the jump too soon against De La Rosa. You know, me and my team know the way that we prepare. We prepare for whatever's put in front of us. Tonight, Melendez came out banging. You know, he came out trying to throw big shots earlier on. As soon as he started throwing that, I was like, this might go 10 rounds tonight, you know. And uh, But he took a lot of risks. He tried to throw a lot of big bombs. I stayed compact. I stayed sharp. I stayed comfortable. And, uh, you know, I was very happy with my timing and my picking of my shots tonight. And, uh, you know, it paid dividends because, you know, he couldn't handle the power. You dropped him very, very early on. Did you know he was in trouble at that stage? No, uh, of course I knew he was in trouble when I dropped him, but he wasn't. He, it was a kind of a flash knockdown. I don't think he was too badly hurt or stung by it, but he definitely was wobbled a little bit. And uh, you know, I was very, as I say, you know, I was very happy in the follow-up on my shots. You know, I was picking my shots well. I was landing them clean, and uh, I could see in his face and his eyes he was dazed. That's a bit of a statement from you. Yeah, without a doubt. You know, that's that's what I come here to do. You know, I'm not only fighting Melendez tonight, I'm fighting everybody out there that's looking at me. And I'm out here to, to put my name in the middleweight division, to let people know who I am, what I am, and what I'm here to do. And that's just not guys in uh, my ranking or my league, that's everybody in the middleweight division. I'm here now to make statements, I'm here to climb that ladder one fight at a time. That's 12-0 now, Jason. What's going to be next now, early 2017 for you? Well, right now, Chris, I'm going to sit back. I have my father out with me. I have my best friend Elvis here. You know, I have my mother, my two sisters back at home. We're all going to enjoy this victory now tonight because it was a it was a long road since May with an injury and everything like that. It was frustrating, you know, and to come back into the, come back into the fight at the end of the year now with a great knockout like that. I was very very delighted with my performance, and uh, you know. I'm going to sit back and enjoy this now with the, the people that mean the most to me. You were a long time out of action. Seven months of frustration in those fists. Yeah, well, you know, you look in there tonight and nobody would think I was out of the ring seven months because it's the way I live my life outside the ring. You know, I dedicate my life to boxing, to being successful, to giving it absolutely everything I got and to being happy. And, you know, that's exactly what I'm doing in life right now. I'm doing something that I love. I'm being happy and uh, I'm just enjoying the journey, enjoying the road, enjoying these experiences. And, uh, you know, I can always say that I fought in Bernard Hopkins' final one. And tell me, on a final note, great support for you there tonight from, from all over the world. Yeah, it was absolutely unbelievable. And to be honest, you know, leading up to this fight, I was feeling like a bad man. I was feeling bad. I was feeling evil. You know, coming into this fight, I don't know what it was in me. I was listening to deep, dark songs. I was thinking deep, dark thoughts about getting into that ring and really hurting this guy. But I had to control that. I don't know why. Is that the frustration of being out of the ring for so long? I don't know. But for me, you know, there was something inside me that was I haven't felt before. You know, I felt I felt a lot of felt a lot of badness inside me. And great, to, great to have such backing in the crowd. Unbelievable, Chris. You know, this is the start of it. This is uh, the people to starting to show their support, their appreciation for what I'm doing. You know, and uh, I'm delighted that I put on a great show for them. Someone was probably going to be a little bit upset that it didn't go longer, but you know, I don't get paid for overtime. They might in their jobs, but I don't for mine. So uh, I did all my hard work leading into this fight, and uh, I made it an easy night for myself. And when you get an easy night like that, it's not that it was an easy night, I made that night easy. You know, 
but looking into the future, there's going to be long, tough fights where I'm going the distance. Maybe I'm dropped, maybe he's dropped. You know, it's a war. So, you know, it's great that I got the first round knockout. I'm coming out fresh, I'm coming out clean. No cuts, no injuries, no nothing. I'm fresh and ready to go again. Good man, proud of you. Appreciate it, Chris. Thank you, sir. Think of 2017 that you'll be moving up and fighting the top 10 opponent? That's entirely up to my team, you know. I think I showed and proved to everybody tonight that I'm ready for another step up. You know, but uh, for me, I'm very lucky that I have a, a great team around me. I have Sheer Sports, my management. I have Golden Boy Promotions. They know how to guide fighters. They know how to take fighters to the top. And I have that in my, uh, I have that in my corner. So I just take care of what I'm good at, and that's taking care of my business inside the ring, inside the gym, and let everything fall into place. Anybody you want to call out at middleweight? Whoever is the belt, that's who I'm coming from. But, you know, right Billy now, Joe. Billy Joe Saunders, he's a world champion. Look, I turned professional to become a world champion. Whoever has a belt, I have no enemies, I have no rivals out there. I want the belts. Whatever man has a belt, that's who I want. I don't have no rivals, I don't have nothing like that. I just want the guy with the belts because that's what I've set out to get. And it's going to be one step at a fight, one step at a time, every fight, to keep climbing that ladder. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Appreciate it, thank you, sir. Ready to be the uh, the new face of Irish boxing, man? Yeah, without a doubt. You know, I'm a very proud man. I'm a very proud Irish man. And uh, I'm looking forward to making my nation proud, to giving them big fights, to putting on big shows for them, and, uh, you know, giving them something to celebrate. What did it feel like when you caught him with that right hand in the first, the, the, the first one that dropped him? To be, to be honest, you know, it wasn't a really a clean knockdown. You know, I caught him clean and everything like that. But we were kind of inside when I caught him and he just took a knee. So I obviously dazed him and hurt him. But it was nothing too serious. So I had to regroup and I had to be, I had to be careful. You know, so, because uh, he's a dangerous, he's dangerous, he's a tough opponent. And uh, out of 28 fights, he had 26 knockouts. You know, so for me, I had to be very cautious. I had to be very wary. And that's exactly what it was. And you know, I picked my shots and the second knockdown, it hurt him and it rocked him. And then the third one just finished them off. No, it's a little greedy to ask right now, but I mean, after a performance like that, your fans are going to want to see you again ASAP, man. When uh, w are you looking to fight early next year? W w what's kind of your plan now? I'm a fighter. I'm ready to fight whenever Golden Boy and Sheer Sports get me a date again. And you know, it's not a matter of when I'm going to fight or am I going to fight. It's a matter of what date do you want to fight on. And that's the great relationship that I have with Golden Boy and my management team. You know, they know the caliber of a boxer that they have. They know they have something special, and I know I have something special in Golden Boy and Sheer Sports. And, you know, teamwork makes a dream work, and that's exactly what we're doing. Special is definitely a word for it, man. Tell uh, your fans where to follow you, social media, Instagram, all that stuff. Everybody can follow him now, and uh, my Snapchat, Jay Quigley Boxing. My Instagram, jquigley1, and my Twitter, j underscore quigley, and my Facebook fan page, Jason Quigley. Now it's time to celebrate, so watch me celebrate. Yeah, follow him now. Get on the bandwagon now, guys. Thank you so much, Jason. Thank you. Brother, thank you.